I work for a faculty for Israeli-Palestinian peace, uh, friends. Uh, we work a lot with uh, youth, with young people, and encouraging them to get out and vote. Our aim is to promote uh, anti-cultural dialogue and anti-faith dialogue between all faiths. Actually, these are like the main projects that we have. Uh, we have first the Academic University for Nonviolence and the Human Rights. Zaklada Ana Lind organizirala je u stvari ovaj jedan veliki forum u Barceloni sa ciljem u stvari da se okupe svi predstavnici organizacije civilnog društva i javnih institucija kako bi promislili o zajedničkoj mediteranskoj budućnosti. Tako da mi tu nekako dodatno motiviramo ljude da se uključuju ovako važne međunarodne projekte ili je to i prilika da se dio naše kulture, dio naše tradicije, a i dio segmenta vezanog u razvoju civilnog društva predstavi široj međunarodnoj javnosti. Mreža mladih je danas imala prezentaciju projektne ideje. Mi smo unazad nekoliko mjeseci razvili ideju za dugoročni program educiranja mladih o mladima za mlade. Naprosto želimo integrirati različitu metodologiju i sadržaje u program neformalnog učenja i time osnažiti mlade ljudi na demokratsko građanstvo. Does not have to be perceived as a threat, but as a challenge and an opportunity. And represents a meaningful opportunity to look ahead for a better future. More and more isolated in their identity. That means. So this is why I came actually because it's especially interesting for me to learn uh, through the discussions and through the forums we have here. Uh, what issues, what are the burning issues, in, especially in the Middle East and the Arab world? I know that when I travel a lot, I'm like, a lot of people say, okay, don't speak Arabic in the airports, don't do a lot of, just keep low-key. You know, there's always just like, it's just better to just, you know, we don't need wagad de mer. We call it wagad de mer, like hurting your head. Just, just deal, you don't have to make this big fuss, you don't have to discuss. Like when I come to these conferences, you know, people well, just like enjoy the conference. You don't have to get into these huge debates about creed and faith and the veil and what it means to be a Muslim, to be an Arab, to be an Egyptian. Why all the hassle? Like, it's not worth it. But it is. Like, I do believe it is worth it. Well, you know, the problem of the Mediterranean is that, unfortunately, we are giving to each other stereotypes and biased mutual perceptions. And this, for various reasons, because you had the colonization, because you have the difference of, of development, because you have migration and the very uh, feeling of the threats that it might bring. Are you optimistic about the ability of meetings like this uh, to, pr to protect the autonomy and independence of those ci civil society organizations so that they can contribute to political and economic change and not be uh, not be uh, tied down by state uh, and bureaucratic means? The, my answer is simple. I am optimistic, I believe in it, I stick on it, and I think that it makes sense. But again, not for tomorrow morning, but later on. Again, keep in mind the perspective of a long run. Not easy, not exciting, but it's, uh, we have no alternative to that. Mm -hmm.